And a story that has left so many people stunned and saddened today. The musician Prince was found dead in his studio just southwest of Minneapolis today and tonight. TMZ is reporting he was treated for a drug overdose just six days ago. Representatives say he had been suffering from the flu, but tonight the exact cause of his death is still a mystery. And many people in places all across the country are paying respect to Prince, often lighting up in that signature color purple. And you can see it here live at uh, Denver's Union Station. Colorado's also also reflecting on the loss of this brilliant music icon. Denver 7's Mark Stewart is in our newsroom. Mark, Prince had an impact here, too. Indeed, and Prince certainly made his mark here in Denver, performing at the Ogden Theater on Colfax just about three years ago. A big part of his legacy, though, is the fact that his music is still relevant to so many different generations. This is what it sounds like. The hits from Prince define the 80s, 90s, and now. Prince provided the playlist in so many of our lives. I remember being in Florida with my friends in the summer listening to 1999 going, it seems so far away. Lalani from Cool 105 remembers sitting up close at the Purple Rain Tour as a teenager. We had great seats, and he was in a bathtub. With his mask on. Prince's music still touches her today. He was such a different artist that just uh, touched so many genres and flirted with uh, some sexual lyrics, and it didn't matter. He just was bigger than life. The news of Prince's passing is stunning. I couldn't believe it, man. Terrible news. When I woke up this morning, I was in the shower singing Purple Rain at the top of my lungs, you know? At Angelo's CDs on Colfax, it's just like mind blowing. Prince is missing from the shelves. Everybody came in looking for records, looking for CDs, and they're all gone now. Grandparents, parents, and their children sharing an understood bond. Perhaps these words from Elton John posted on Instagram say it best. Elton John said, Rest in peace, you purple warrior. Prince made several appearances in Denver over the years, the Pepsi Center and what was then McNichols Arena back in 1986. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mark Stewart, Denver 7. Yeah, what great memory.